Um, I've actually been on vacation for quite some time, so um, that's why I haven't been posting my videos regularly. And then while I was on vacation, I went home to visit my family, and um, they didn't really have a webcam or anything, so for me to post my, my stuff. So anyway, I'm back, and my internet's off, but um, I'm doing the video anyway, because I love my subscribers and they're so loyal and everything like that. So let's get, get started. Um, I did a video while I was in Hawaii, but, um, I don't know if I'm going to get past that. Um, this is the 10th month. It's November the 3rd, and on November the 5th, it'll be 10 months that I've had my temple piercing. Um, a couple things. While I was in Hawaii, I got this, um, it was like this this bump or whatever and I took it out and drained it and then it kept coming back and, and pussing and stuff like that so what I did was I took out the uh, 916 bars and I put the 5 back in and um, that helped but since I've had them for so long they were kind of like sticking out and you might be able to tell on the video that it is previous to this one the 9 month update if I call it that oh I call it Krayshawn and Ross, Rick Ross, beef or whatever. Cause anyway, that's besides the point. So, so anyways, I had, I was having a problem with them, and um, I took them out and put the 5 eights, like I said, and they were kind of sticking out a little bit, but it gave the piercing a little room to breathe. So, um, it healed kind of. I noticed that when I take it out, though, it, um, it there's like a dent in there where the, where the earring is. So it's currently still healing. But since I've been back, um, I got back Sunday, um, I put the 916s back in because the other ones were just, they were like so long that they were getting in the way of like the and stuff like that. So right now I have the shorter bars in, but I don't know how long I'm going to keep them in. Hopefully, like I won't have any problems with them or anything like that. Um, what has been going on is um, the inside of my cheek, this side, this side has been very problematic these last few months. This one is perfect. Nothing ever happens with this one. It's ridiculous. But this one has been problematic. Um, I actually had to go back to doing the mouthwash and the salt water soaks and stuff because it hurt like really bad inside my cheek. And it wasn't infected or anything like that. I just wondered if like, I got something stuck in there or whatever. I'm not really sure. But, you know, I did the mouthwash and all that other stuff. And I was just contemplating taking them out because they are really like becoming a pain, well this one's becoming a pain, but I decided to leave them in and see, you know, how it goes because I don't want to regret taking them out and then get them back done again and have to go through the whole process and blah 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 because I really, really, really love um, the business. So, I always say real quick that I'm tired, I'm still on Hawaii time and I'm freaking exhausted, but I did want to do a video um, to show you guys about my double piercing. I mean, just to do like a little update. So, uh, they're doing really well. This side doesn't hurt anymore at all. Um, it, it's just been kind of a problem. It's fine for now. I haven't really been wearing makeup or anything like that because um, it's too hot in Hawaii. I just sweat it off anyway. But it, um, I'm just hoping that it'll, you know, be okay. Um, I didn't have any swelling or any infection. I know I would have known if it was infected or anything like that. It's just I think that I was probably bothering it. I was changing them out a lot to go to church and stuff like that. What I should just let them, let them be. Um, I've had them for 10 months, but apparently they're still not completely healed. They do still leak. I hate the leakage, but you can get used to anything, and I've gotten used to leakage. So, anyways, um. I think that's about it. Um, for those of you guys who don't ever read my comments, that last song I did with my pictures, the, the song playing is called Close It by Marvin Cash. They're my favorites. So you can check them out. They're my favorites. Also, while I have you guys, look, YouTube just freaking um, contacted me about AdSense and all this other stuff. So I have a freaking ad that like shows up on my um, 
on my thing. Click it, please click it. I still don't have a job. So if I could just get each and every one of you to click it like five times a day or even more than that, you know, it would help make me some money. And I will return the favor. Right? I'm trying to do a little marketing. I don't know if it's working, but you know. So that is pretty much the update. It has been 10 months and they're still leaking and they're still, I mean, but other than the leakage um, and the problem that I told you about, it's not too bad. Um, like I said, they haven't been swelling or uh, bleeding or um, or anything like that. So, I, you know, just you, just, you really have to take a lot of, like, I, I know, you don't believe it, like, you get your dental piercings and you see other people talking about them on YouTube and they tell you that they're, you really, really, really have to take care of them because of high maintenance. It's true. Like, and you think, like, after, well, everybody is different. But I know with me, I think, like, after, after five months, I was like, you can't tell me nothing. I know everything about double piercing. And that wasn't the case. Like, you do have to continue to take care of them. It's not like with other piercings where you get them and you have to clean them and blah, 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 and what you will call it, and they heal, and then you don't really worry about them all that much or whatever. That is not so with the double piercings. They're like newborn babies. They need constant attention and love and tender loving. But um, that's it. Now, with that being said, I really want to get my nose pierced right here, right? But I don't have, like a lot of people, their noses go like this, and then it goes like that. So they get it pierced like in the little thing right there. And I don't have that. So I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. You know, what do you guys think? Let me know. I did have my nose pierced before when I was like 22 or 23. And I, I didn't like, well, first of all, the guy couldn't get the thing all the way through my nose because of the cartilage. So he spent like 30 minutes trying to push it through and it didn't work because he said my cartilage was so thick in my nose. <laughs> but so that, I'm kind of scared to go back and get that done because I'm wondering if my cartilage is too thick or if he just wasn't as skilled as he should be. But anyways, after he did that, I just went to Walmart and got a little earring in it slid right into the hole, but I didn't like the way that it looked on me. But I never thought, and ever since then, I was like, I'm not going to get any facial piercings because I don't think I go to get any facial piercings. But since then, I had a lip ring, and now I have a cheeks done, and I think that the cheeks look cute, and the lip ring looks cute. I, I took that out, by the way. So I'm wondering if I see if another shot. What do you think? Let me know. Click me, click me, click me, click me, or click this, this, is it on this side, or, or, or over here, click that, <laughs> please, to help me make some money, so for, um, uh, oh, and by the way, I just got all, like, a bunch of new subscribers, thank you so much, I love you, I love you all, um, I have, how many in the guys, 16, or is it 18 person, um, well, I have my cheeks, I have my tongue, uh, I have my traguses on both sides, and as you can see, all those earrings, um, I have these earrings. I also have industrials on both sides, and I have my belly button pierced. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it. So, if you have any questions, um, about something I haven't already talked about in my videos, or something, Please feel free to um, contact me. And if, even if you do have questions that have been my videos, please feel free to contact me. I always um, do my best to respond to everybody who has something to say. Because I hate when I comment on people's YouTubes and then like they just ignore me. I don't know. Makes me feel like a loser. But anyway, so yeah, that's it. Um, that's the update. So far, so good. Like I said, last month I was having some problems with it. Um, if you're thinking about getting your dimples pierced, your best bet is to do it either while you're unemployed, and if you're going to be unemployed for a while, or if you have a job that doesn't care about dimple piercings, because it's going to take a long time to heal. Like I said, it's been almost a year, and mine still hasn't healed, and I have retained them at times, but they don't like that. They just don't like that for some reason. So when I retain them, they start to feel stiff and, and what you want to call it, and they're, and they're long enough, they're, they're five-eighths size, and they're the bioclass, but they don't like, they don't like it. So, um, if it got to it, I would probably just, um, 
take them out if I got a job that didn't uh, approve them. But I did just get a working home job. I just have to get my internet up. So, anyways, um, if that's it. Think about it. Think long and hard about it. It has to be something you really want, not just something you saw and you're like, oh, that's cute. You know, I'm gonna just go down the, you know, the street and get this piercing. This here's my what's my call it? Because it's 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 not that simple. Some people don't have any problems with them. Um, I mean, I wanted them so bad. I still want them. That's the reason why I have all these other piercings because I was working and I couldn't get the piercings that I wanted. So um, I'm gonna hang tough with them. You know, I'm gonna ride with that chick for my dimple piercings and all. So. Anyway, that's okay. I know I keep saying like that's it for everything, but um, I think that's it. So hit me up, Thirty Shamir. And click on my stuff. Help me make some money, okay? Please. I'll return the favor. Alright, love you, miss you. Mm -hmm. Aloha.